Hey there everyone, Trizu here. Welcome back to the Fallout 4 Collection Series. Today we resume our collection of the Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Today, I know exactly which one I am going after. There is one in the public library, and it's different from most of the others because it's not laying out somewhere. It is in one of their book return machines as a reward, and you need a bunch of tokens for it. Fortunately, I have 34 tokens right here, and the rest of them I should be able to get buy all of these overdue books, wherever the hell they're at. There we are. Those. I don't remember how many I get from that. But it should put me over the top. I'm pretty sure it should put me over the top, because I think it's two or three tokens a book. I think. If not, then I'm going to have to go fetch a few from elsewhere. Uh, although, the, I believe there are a few books just in the middle of the library uh, as I wander around, so I think... That should be enough to get me. If it's only one token per book, I would need two more to two more books, and I think I could find that in the library itself. Okay, now I just have to remember where is the safe place to get in here. Is this considered one of the ways to get in? Here's the other issue of doing... Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, shit, that's not what I wanted at all. The other issue I'm going to run into while I'm in the library itself is I don't know which machine, because there's like four machines or something in there that you can return books to, but uh, that's... Uh, that's part of the challenge, is finding the right machine and having enough tokens to get the magazine that I want. So what is the logic of I say, fast travel me to the library, and once I arrive there, I'm pointed at a subway station instead of the library. Like, what kind of logic? Mmm. Oh, because it's a station directly underneath the library itself, evidently. That's so weird. Alright, I sort of kind of remember how to get in this door. That's a corpse, and that's a good sign that something hasn't reset for a while. Ooh. Damn, dude. I like that. Okay, so in I go to the proper building this time. Well, there's a lot of dead boys around here. That helps. That helps me feel better. And they're empty. But it doesn't say it's cleared out. Here we go. So, returning books. Five token? I had it ages ago. I had this ages ago. Seventy tokens. Boo! What, what, are you the one I'm after? 104 tokens. Hey, this is the one! Why does this feel entirely too easy? Whatever. Yes. Finding your funny bone! I still have 50-some tokens, dude. Not that any of this matters, any of this other stuff matters at all, but dang, dude. Okay, I actually expected to have to fight a little harder. What I am not sure about is why this place isn't considered to be cleared out. 
because I I figured it sa- it didn't say it was cleared out because it had been the seven days for a respawn. Totally valid. I would have accepted that wholeheartedly. But what I don't understand is why everything in here is dead. So it hasn't respawned, but it's not clear. Whatever. I'm not going to dig too much deeper into this. I expected more of a fight and more of a search, but I got what I was looking for. I actually thought it was a different machine. I, I My first instinct was it was going to be a machine over by, like, the, the, the big, like, wraparound staircase area. Um... I don't know if I'm describing that properly. But what however I would describe it, it's yeah, it's it's a big area where the stairs like split and you know they, they wrap around this kind of atrium place. I guess it would be like the front doors technically of the library. Um but I don't think you can actually get in the doors there. But, like, if you were to come in the doors that are there, there's a stair... Stairs in, like, a big wide staircase in the middle that goes down, and then narrow ones on both sides that go up into, like, this big library-ish area, of course. Um, and there's a machine there, and I thought that was going to be the one that had my journal in it. But, c'est la vie, that is not the one that was my goal. I accidentally stumbled onto it. Like, honestly, the reason I went into this machine firsthand is just be like, I'm going to dump the books and call it good. Uh, but it turned out to be everything I needed all in one. So, short journey, guys. And I swear, I'm trying to make this, you know, a bit more time-consuming and entertaining for you. But I, I... Whatever works, I guess. Did I just hear Carla's cow? Okay. We'll resume our collection of Massachusetts Surgical Journals on the next episode. I will see you then after I go take care of Carla and her damn cow.